Good morning. I decided to vlog today. I have no idea why. <laughs> Actually, I do. Uh, the Scotland vlogs have finished now, and I love looking back at all of our travel vlogs. I literally rewatch them years later. Um, like when me and my mum went to Australia, me and my mum's trip to Disneyland Paris, me and Paul going places like Morocco, him visiting me in France. I just, it's like having home videos. I love it. Um, and every so often I will vlog something that is a little bit more close to home, which is kind of what I'm doing for this week. So if any of you don't know, I recently released the third book in my Ocean's Daughter trilogy, Sky's Queen. Uh, it came out two weeks ago. Can't believe it's been that long already. Um, so that trilogy is now done. I'm so excited. The links are below if you want to go and grab any of my books. Um, but I am currently working on book one of my next series. My next series is going to be called Bonded to Beasts. To be determined, but that's kind of what I'm calling it at the moment. Titles of each book to be revealed. Planned five books in the series. It's an adult fantasy romance, mythical creatures, all that. The first draft is done. Uh, and I'm currently working my way through rounds of edits from my wonderful editor, Elisa. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited about it, but sometimes just working from home, I don't get lonely. Like I love, I love working for myself and by myself. Um, but sometimes it's nice just to get a bit of a change of scenery, which is what I'm doing today. So I'm heading out to my favorite bookstore, um, in town. I have the car cause Paul's night shift. So he's sleeping in the house. So I can't make any noise anyway. Um, dog has been walked and he's currently staring at me like, why are you leaving? Uh, but I thought this week I would go to multiple different places just to write. I think Friday I'm going to go into the university because uh, they have Starbucks there and they also have some nice little places to write and just kind of get the last bit of the book done. I'm so excited for it. I'm excited for everyone to read it. Um, but I'm going to stop talking now because it took a while to put on a face, do my hair and dress myself after going to the gym and walking the dog. So otherwise I'm not going to get any writing done today. So let's go. made it home now and I've changed. Every time I talk to a camera my dog thinks there's someone somewhere and gets a, a bit triggered. Are you a bit triggered? Do you think I'm talking to someone? Yeah? You were about to chow down on your uh, pig ear over there. How about you go do that? It's a good boy. Yes. So I made it home. I was in the bookstore for about three hours, just over three hours. Um, I really like the atmosphere in there. Um, the cafe is really nice and cozy. I don't know. It's just it's just a nice atmosphere to write in. Um, and I actually wrote in like two locations. So they have like the big tables that are in the middle of the bookstore, and then you can obviously also write in the cafe. So I wrote in the cafe and then wrote in the bookstore. Reason being, I had to pee, so I had to pick up my laptop and everything, and go to the toilet, <laughs> and then come back, and I just sat somewhere else. Um, but it was a pretty productive writing session. I had a lot of notes on chapters 25 and 28 from my editor, which was like a couple of big pivotal moments, um, and managed to get them ironed out, I think, and sent back. So my editor has done up to chapter 29 now, and there's 37 chapters in the book. So we're so nearly done, which is really exciting to me. 
Um, and obviously I'm self-editing a lot as we go, like I'm going back and looking at stuff, going forward and looking at stuff, making sure it's all making sense. Um, and we'll go over everything together another time as well. So yeah, really excited for how everything's shaping up, but I'll probably do a little bit more work later. I think I'll take a bit of a brain break at the moment because I kind of worked through lunch, like I ate and worked at the same time. So I'll take a little break now. Um, I don't know if you can see, but I have decorated the house for autumn. So I have like a little, it's not really autumn. This is more like fairy tale vibes, but I like it. It goes well with the book nook. And then some little autumnal decorations just to bring a little bit, again, a little bit of atmosphere. Got some more there on the couch. Oh, why is it so, this camera's getting old. It's not focusing very well anymore. Some more there. And this mister is like, can we play? I already took you out when I got home, baby. Yeah. That's what happens when you get a border collie. So yeah, I'll probably write a little bit more later, but I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow, um, our new sofa bed is getting delivered and I'm really excited. We got rid of the big massive bed that was in the guest bedroom because it took up pretty much the entire space. And we weren't really getting much use out of the room because the only time it was ever occupied is when my mum's staying. So I thought, okay, let's um, change the bed for a sofa bed and then we can actually get like almost like a second sitting room kind of thing. Um, and I'm kind of, I'm kind of loving how it's shaping up. So I'll show you guys that more tomorrow. Hello, it is now Friday. I look bald. I swear I'm not, I have a claw clip in. Um, yeah, I'm heading out of the house again today. I didn't really film much the last few days. I haven't been feeling very well. Um, so the last few days have basically included me watching all of the Twilight movies, then all of the new Jurassic World movies, and kind of curling up on the couch. I've done a few edits here and there. Obviously, I've been coaching and stuff as well and doing some work for EWM. Um, but most of it has been in my pajamas on the couch. So that's not really interesting for you guys to watch. But today I'm feeling better and I am heading out to the university. So Tilburg actually has quite a big university um, and it's quite a nice campus. They also have a Starbucks on campus which is the closest Starbucks to my house and I don't really feel like going all the way into town today. Uh, it's about a 15 minute drive so I'm gonna head there now. Paul is working this afternoon so I do need to have the car back um, by about half past one. I'll come home for lunch but I thought you know what it's 10 o'clock now I'll head in, get a couple of hours of writing done, have a coffee. I'm not gonna have a pumpkin spice latte. Uh, I actually feel like a mocha. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go into Starbucks, we're gonna write, and I will update you guys when I'm there. my editor are almost done with the entire book. Um, we've edited up to chapter 33, uh, there's 37 chapters in the book. Um, and obviously because it's a fantasy, like, there's a big, 33 is like a big pivotal chapter, like there's a big battle scene, like all the twists are kind of coming into it, so it's requiring a lot of work. And Elisa emailed me and was like, I almost went blind uh, rereading this chapter so much and I was like, yeah, last week it pretty much gave me a nosebleed trying to figure out how to tie all those strings together. Because um, the novels turned out quite political, like there's a lot of political intrigue, um, which is very confusing to write if you don't have everything in place. Um, so yeah, right now today I'm kind of going back through the whole book, like me and Elisa kind of exchanged notes of you maybe need to make this a bit more obvious, you maybe need to have... I don't know if you can hear me in here, it's actually quite loud. It's like a man Um Yeah, just trying to sprinkle a little bit more foreshadowing and information, maybe changing a couple of lines here and there. Um, so I'm doing that at the moment and then hopefully later today I'll get back to chapter 33 and rewrite some stuff to make it more clear. So um, that's what we're currently doing. The 
embarrassed to put a little heart on my name and it's literally made my day and yes I did look at other people's cups and no one else got a heart so it's made me feel very special. So I'm about to head home now but before I do I'm quickly going to nip in to, there's a second hand bookstore here which I really like. The English section is very small but the prices are great. I've gotten a few books here for as little as like two euros. So I just thought, I'm right around the corner. I'm just gonna go in and have a little look. So it's just, uh, is it inside the university campus? Like inside one of the actual university buildings. Look how cute this is. Little benches where you can sit and work. Like it's sunny at the moment. It's sunny at the moment, but Today is the first day I've actually gone outside with a jacket on and I've been cold. So uh, autumn is well and truly here. So, I am home. I've gotten changed. I had to put on something a little bit warmer. It's not warm today. Like I said when I was out walking, it's the first day I've been out and I've been cold. So I've got a warmer jumper on um, and I'm gonna sit and try and do some work. But I wanted to show you guys our new guest room. You can ignore the drying frame, which is now living permanently in here at the moment. But I don't know if any of you guys remember what this room looked like prior. Uh, we had, we basically just had a massive bed in here. So the room like wasn't really getting used. The bed took up I want to say all of the space <laughs> so we used it as like storage because we stored a lot of stuff under the bed um, but we didn't really get much use out of the room apart from like the two weeks or a week or so when my mom would come to visit usually around Christmas so we decided to get rid of the bed um, we sold it to a very lovely couple who had just moved to the Netherlands so they have a bed now and uh, we got a sofa bed and I am in love Guys, I am so happy with how this turned out. When we first moved in, I knew that I wanted this to be the color scheme. I wanted a navy blue wall and I wanted pink and Paul was very on the fence about it until it came together. So we have like copper accents up here. I can obviously put that light on and show you guys. So yeah, we got the sofa bed. It's just like a click clack. So the back of it goes down. We got um, these tables. If you're from the Netherlands, it was a set of three, and I got them from the Lanebucker. Um, so I think it was three for 60 euros, I want to say. We got these lamps from Ikea. I think the, the base was 15 each, and then, oh, that looks a bit dusty already. Oh dear, oh dear, don't want, don't want that. And um, the bulbs were, I think, 10. They were quite expensive bulbs, because they're quite fancy. Um, this I picked up from the Action, that was only a couple of euros. The couch was 600 from Belliani and it came with the two pink cushions and I got the two cushions separately I think from this was ball.com and this was Lanebacker and I got this little neon sign which I absolutely love it's a much like darker pink in real life it's showing up really really bright on the camera um, but it says dream which I think is very fitting so basically I've just given myself a second office <laughs> Now, I hate mentioning this online because, like, I'm gonna... Now, I hate kind of mentioning stuff like this online because you're, you're just opening yourself up to questions, but we're just being proactive. Having children is definitely something that me and Paul want in our future and see for ourselves. We do have a three bedroomed house, so this is the guest room, we have our room, and then the small room is currently my office. So we're both very aware that when children do come into the picture, whenever that might be, there's no immediate plans, um, I am going to have to move my office into here. So I'm basically going to have to move my desk into here, which was a big reason for us getting the sofa bed, because now we have space for a desk. I can basically put my desk where that drying frame is and just move the move the chair out of the way. So it just makes more sense for a number of reasons. And also now when my mum comes to say she has a little bit more space to herself, like this is no longer a room where she can just, you know, come and sleep. It's a room that she can come 
I don't know, to have privacy, to chill, to be by herself. Um, again, if we are going to have children, she will hopefully be coming over for longer periods of time. So hopefully this is just going to be a little bit, a little bit nicer for her. But I actually think I'm gonna work from in here today. It's very cozy with these with these lights. I really like these lights as a background. Um, and I think I'm gonna sit up here with my laptop and continue working on my edits before my coaching call at four o'clock. So just before I start coaching, there is something I wanted to show you guys and you can see it on the shelf here. The author copies of Sky's Queen have arrived, so you can see now the trilogy is officially complete. This is like my Osha's Daughter trilogy bookshelf. So we have the paperbacks here. We've got one random Her Heart Holds Secrets down here. I might move that actually because it looks a bit out of place now. So we have two copies each of Sky's Queen, Earth's Mother, Ocean's Daughter. We have the three parody bookmarks that I believe are still available at Bunsy Book Club. Um, so that's not a clam brand site, Mummy Issues and Shock Therapy. Then we have the wonderful art that was commissioned from Burkhart Sketches of M, Riva and Alex. And then we have the hard covers of Ocean's Daughter, Earth's Mother and Sky's Queen. And you can see the spines there with the little icons on them. And Sky's Queen is a little bit thicker. It's the thickest out of all of them. And oh, I love it. You can see I have some more author copies here because they're going out to some bookish influencers soon. But yeah, like holding your copies of your books in your hands is always special, but when it's a completed series or a completed trilogy, like just makes it even better. Isn't she just so pretty? I think this one might be my favorite cover. Maybe Ocean's Daughter is my favorite cover. But I really like this one too because my favourite colour is purple. So, and if you guys do still want to get your hands on the paperback, the hardback, or the ebook, you can find them all on Amazon and the link is always in the description of every single YouTube video. It actually feels really perfect that this series has come to a close now because I'm now so focused on writing the Bonded to Beast series, which obviously I'm sure I've spoken about it. On this I'm sure I've explained what the series is about I hope I have uh, adult romanticy mythical creatures based on Scottish folklore um, and it really feels like it's it's the type of book that I want to read um, which makes it so fun to write and I'm really really excited to see where it's gonna go I have a few things in the works behind the scenes which I will update you guys on as soon as I'm allowed to as soon as I know more because there isn't even anything concrete to tell you at the moment, um, but I'm really excited to see where this series is going to go and I hope you guys are all going to like it. Also, these are all of the books that I have been using to help me write Bonded to Beasts. This is a novel planner from Storyfolk, which has been helping with the plotting. And these are four books that I got when I was home in Scotland. If you watched the Scottish vlogs, um, you probably saw them. So a couple of folk tales, customs, and this was essential because I'm using a lot of the Gaelic language um, in the series. So yeah, very exciting things. This has been a very book heavy vlog. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have made it all the way to the end, could you please leave me a little comment and let me know because I'm always very interested to see who actually watches um, my vlogs every week. Like I know my mum does and I know my dad does, <laughs> but apart from that, it would be nice. Uh, it'd be nice to know who is, who is watching. So thank you guys as always. Leave a friendly comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next week.